Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Today we're doing another reaction video because the first one that we posted, we had a ton of great engagement and people are actually telling me that they enjoy it. Something lighter, something a little bit more engaging, and there is a lesson they can get out of it, and which is the reason why we're going to give it another go. So without further ado, we are going to dive into this another video that is called, called the toilet video that Jason has found. So let's get it right into it. Fun food videos. Best ever food review show has been running around Taipei looking for the tastiest treats this place has to offer. But today, I'm looking for something weird. We're hunting down the wackiest restaurants and foods in this city, including a toilet themed restaurant that's serving hot diarrhea cocoa. Hot diarrhea cocoa. How appetizing. This, this isn't a joke. This is a, a real place. We all remember being a young Japanese girl. And today, I'm going to relive my childhood Japanese memories here at the Hello Kitty Good Day Cafe and Spa. Actually, I don't think it's a spa. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is that I do not mix with this very well. So I think it's going to be an interesting clash. I'm not too tough. I'm not even too cool. I'm just going to fully absorb all. Something that I do want to mention is that in Asia, having themed restaurant is a really, really big thing because actually in Asia, a lot of girls, they would actually go and dine in at a restaurant specifically because they like their cartoons, because they like their themes, and that's what really drives people through the doors, which is very, very different because our culture in North America is that we go to places because they have good food, they have good gimmick and whatnot. We don't get drawn to places because of their anime, because of their character, because anime is a huge, huge deal in Asia, and that's the reason why it does actually have a ton of pull, and this trend has been happening for years. Normalness until my heart explodes. Let's go. <laughs> Bam. All right, check it out. Automatic shorts, I like it. As we enter, we see the cake section. Do you like the, the idea of a cat head on top of your cake? Is this actually allowed for me to eat here alone? I hope they don't call the police. Uh, this is the main kind of bakery area. Upstairs is the actual restaurant. Let's head up there to see what they have. I just want to love in my inside. As you can see, actually, they pay a ton of attention with the aesthetics from the colors to actually all the decor within the place. That's the amount of detail and experience that they want to be able to deliver. And that's precisely what we can learn from them. We don't need to do a Hello Kitty themed restaurant, but the attention to detail, the decor, the ambience, the experience is what people would be able to get away from your restaurant. So if you want to create a beautiful memory or something that is just a little bit different, pay attention to the detail. They have figured out the pastry branding. They have all these little cakes, strawberry pie, tiramisu. It's very adorable. I'm waiting for something to really strike my fancy. Whoa, look at this. It's a Hello Kitty waffle press. That looks like so these waffle presses, and just, just so you know, if you want to create your own waffle press or your own kind of items, specialized items for your restaurant, specifically for your branding, it is actually not that expensive to make these plates. You simply go on Alibaba and, or you even just Google uh, different types of um, manufacturers within China or in Taiwan and you just ask them, hey, you know what, this is the mold that I want to create. And usually that fluctuates around three grand to five to six grand to make the mold and to create this whole item for you. It doesn't necessarily need to be a waffle machine, just so you guys know. Okay, that's 100% what we're doing. Some Hello Kitty waffles, and I'm gonna check out the menu and see what else they have. <laughs> okay, I think I have a big enough seat. Guys, let's take a look at this menu here. First of all, can I just comment how disruptive it is? There's a lot of kids running around here. I'm an adult man. I'm going to a Hello Kitty cafe. I'm trying to enjoy some peace and some delicious food shaped like a cat. 
and there's kids running around everywhere. It's just, oh, hello, can I please have, oh, sorry. Can I please have the strawberry latte okay. with the cute cat face mm. and fruit in season ice cream pancake? Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I think this booth is a little bit too big for me. I'm gonna sit in something a little bit more my size. I know, I know, you will always be the It is so interesting because when you add branding to your food, it immediately elevates the food item. It immediately, you would pay 20%, 30% more premium when you add a simple branded item. Just even as this Hello Kitty face, basically the same ingredients. Everything is the same as a latte, but they spent what, 50 bucks, 100 bucks creating that middle sheet of branded stencil and then they just pour cocoa leaf on top and then they can charge another dollar another two dollars for the latte just amazing amazing branding and amazing strategy something that you can perhaps use our first location our first meal i'm so excited because i'm showing you this really authentic taiwanese cuisine have there been any complaints yet you can come here and probably no one's going to even complain about you this tastes really good that tastes like strawberry milk oh there's the coffee part hey by the way, are kids supposed to drink coffee? If I was a kid, I would love this coffee. The real reason I'm here is for this authentic, oh, that's a, that's a dense waffle. So now we're gonna drizzle on some kitty syrup. It's hard to say if this is a breakfast or a dessert. I think it's a little bit of both. What we're gonna do is just slap on some of that ice cream too. And something that if you guys are, are wondering, like, hey, you know what, how can, I, how can a normal person be able to actually uh, create a Hello Kitty themed restaurant? Well, a lot of times, a lot of these big companies, they may not even operate these restaurants themselves. You can actually go and ask them, hey, you know what, can I license off your character to create a restaurant? And that's where the conversation usually happens is that you need to start approaching brands and then uh, afterwards, they're gonna just basically charge you a licensing fee to use their brand to create a restaurant concept. Now, warranted the, the fact that you actually know what you're doing, then they do a bunch of um, vetting to make sure that you do not tarnish their brand. And of course, um, it's a long process to negotiate, but it is doable because I've heard people actually just randomly go out of the way and just negotiate these licensing deals. And that's exactly what we did with our Nespresso campaign. We approached Nespresso. We told them that, you know what, we want to create a, a different flavor with you. And right there and then, we're able to charge an extra dollar for our ice cream. And on top of that, we can leverage off Nespresso's big, big brand name. That's really the secret in licensing. We're going to fork up some of this waffle and we're going to put it all together. Cheers. Mmm, it's yummy. It, just, it tastes like a waffle with ice cream. It's about what you would expect, but it's in the shape of a cat head. These items are so, so popular in Asia is because they just need to go like 10 times, 20 times, 30 times bigger to make it like, wow. It needs to be able to have that wow factor. And that's the reason why they would make these giant shrimps, giant crabs. So if you go to Japan, Tokyo and stuff like that, you would see all these crazy food, like a crazy corn dog, the size of like what a car that is hanging around the building. And that's exactly what they do because in Asia, the density is so, so populated. And that's the reason why any type of real estate, any type of real estate that they do not want to for go, they do not want to, they want to be able to take advantage of any real estate that they have. And that's the reason why they need to stand out by having these giant sized items as decor. <laughs> we have traveled to our last destination for today, a toilet themed restaurant of all things. And I know what you're thinking. Why would someone make a toilet themed restaurant? Basically, this place is like the clickbait version of a restaurant. I think people come here for the Instagram photos, maybe? I don't know if it's for the, the flavors, the exotic flavors. Very exotic flavors. Maybe they've got some good beef noodles in there, too. Ooh, man, beef noodles served in a toilet bowl. Can't wait for that. Let's go. Our restaurant, it is called Modern Toilet. We can see some of their specialties on their little promo board. Well, guys, do you want some curled up sausage that looks like some poop? Modern Toilet turd sub sandwich. Oh man. 
They got gross names for everything. Modern toilet poop meatballs. That one's not even a creative title. I'm curious what makes it modern. Okay, a modern toilet chicken curry. Already <laughs> very enticing crap. This concept is so brilliant. Um, the, the reason why it's so brilliant is the fact that they don't even need to pay any licensing fee. They're just basically creating this whole concept out of the toilet theme. I don't know how advertising this is. I don't know if I would go. I've heard about this years ago, but then the day, yeah, it just, the, the fact that we're actually talking about it and creating a video on it makes them somewhat successful, I guess. But on the other hand, do be very, very cautious if you wanna go down a route of having themed restaurants, is the fact that whether people will come back again and again. How often would you go back to a toilet themed restaurant, even if it's amazing? Most likely you're not gonna go back the second or the third time. You're just gonna go once with your friends, have a good laugh, enjoy the food, and you're like, you know what, I'm out of here. That's probably what's gonna happen if you actually do some Googling, this shop most likely will be already done and over with. When we're running a restaurant business, make sure we create something that has longevity that can last for years to come, at least five years. Why is that the case? Because we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in renovations, marketing, and promotions, and stuff like that. And if you're creating a theme restaurant, you spend the same amount of time, effort, and resources in doing the same thing. So why would you wanna create something that doesn't have longevity, that would you know, die off after the hype is over? You wanna spend your money and resources in creating something that has longevity, that would be able to create wealth for you in years to come. Let's go upstairs and try to figure this out together. Oh, very nice. We have the bathroom sign right here. I just heard <coughs> a flushing sound. It's pretty slamming in here right now. We see the toilet theme is everywhere. Look at these. Ice cream in a urinal. That's adorable. An ice cream swirl in a urinal. That one's actually kind of clever. They have toilet bowls as chairs. I'm actually not sure how you find a bathroom in a place like this. We're going to go upstairs to order. Guys, it's the king of toilets. It's like a king Kong. It is so funny. With these toilets, I had, a, I had an experience, actually. I was shopping at Home Depot, and, and somehow I was just seeing this guy. I'm like, why, why is he just sitting in here? And he was actually taking a dump in the middle of Home Depot, guys, because he couldn't wait it anymore. I'm like, oh my god. I really hope that no one does this to this restaurant, but I'm pretty okay. sure it does happen. Okay, it doesn't, this one's not functioning yet. <laughs> Bam, toilet shaped menu. I'm super curious what they're gonna have on the menu. They've got pictures and I like that. Some of these have normal names and some of them have great pun names. Modern toilet diarrhea cocoa. Like there's a green curry chicken au gratin. There's nothing, there's no pun in there at all. Unless you think green curry is just synonymous with shit. Okay, Toy okay. toilet chicken nuggets. What do you recommend? Uh, which one looks the most like poop? Curry. Curry looks the most like poop. Let's do the green one. I think we're just, we want, we're here for the toilet theme. We want the full effect. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. All right, thank you so much. The confidence to be able to say, hey, we're gonna make a drink with the word diarrhea. And yeah, it has to say, modern diarrhea okay that's that's just how creative guys modern diarrhea never goes out of fashion that takes guts Woo. Oh. it has all arrived can you believe all these insane insane treats and i only ordered a couple of these things they also brought this to us modern toilet bread Good. Perhaps the most disconcerting thing on this table uh, right here, modern toilet poop meatballs. Good. She did a great job with this recommendation here. It does look like someone had a long night. <laughs> why, why, why? I don't I, think this place could exist without Instagram, right? Like people come here just to be like, look what I did. I went to a crazy thing. Isn't that crazy, guys? And then here I am. Let's just jump into it. It's starting to look more like meat and less like actual poop. Let's try it out. I ooh. Mmm, that's actually good. <laughs> Tasty. It's just like a meat, a curry meatball. Are we doing a real food review here? Am I really reacting to the food? And I think that's uh, yeah. They just kind of created some swirly mashed potatoes. I like that. And when you need to wash it all down, we've got a nice diarrhea cocoa right here. Mmm. 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 All right, that's actually good. 
served in a urinal. You serve the solid ingredients in a toilet bowl and you serve the liquids in a urinal. This is like the most intimidating right here. I mean, look how look how poopy that was. Oh you my goodness. You wouldn't want to step on that if you found oh. that in your yard. I've been neglecting this guy, I'm sorry. We've got a nice Jason, room. what are we watching, Jason? Why, why? The toilet here. <laughs> I would never come here. Just, you know what, even if you pay me to review this restaurant, I would not go. Like, come on, why? Like, it's, there's 10 million places to go to. Why this place? Why? Uh, I almost went to the one in New York. Uh, I don't care, Jason. Why? This is so gross. Their meatballs are so gross. Their meatballs. Oh my God. Why? Do not ever ever do this okay if you learn something from this channel and you're like hey you know what i'm gonna go and make my own poop restaurant i will disown you guys i will block you you will not be able to subscribe to my channel and i will forever ban you guys never ever do this guys it is horrible idea it is so bad why mm, little curry little rice it's pretty good it's pretty good wash it down with some toilet water Oh. You saw on the way in here, they also have that dessert, and that looks like a classic. It also looks like by potential quick taste stuff. Curry. So I'm going to order that Meatball. dessert right now. The thing is... I'm worried about now is I actually have this to good. Hey, but something that they're smart on is the fact that they're selling merch. The fact that they're selling merch is because people, when they go, they just want to have a good time. And many times when they go, they, they want to have a souvenir. And yeah, selling some merch makes so much sense when they're doing this because people never ever go back again. So this is the time to milk them, sell merch. Quick, these are toilets, but this is definitely not the bathroom, okay? Because you can't even flush that. And I bet you people actually use that as a toilet. Not even kidding you. I don't. VIP lunch. Do you think that's the actual bathroom? See, that's not. She just brought dishes in there. That's not the bathroom. And then when you look here, what is this? This toilet's a sink. Okay, let's just go. We're gonna go. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it in. Hold it in. Let's go eat. We should have served this at 720. Must be a hit. Yeah, new flavor. New flavor, toilet ice cream. New campaign. Let's put in a toilet. The modern diarrhea. Ex modern extra large diarrhea. Yeah, the swirls already work. Kind to us, and it's you know, yeah to add the modern in there. The experience, for example, here I'm experiencing ice cream in the shape of poop that's been placed in a urinal. Okay. Well, first of all, that's just rude conduct. You don't poop in a urinal. Ugh. Anyways, let's try it out. Well, actually, for some of the you guys that don't know, there are in Asia, there are urinals that are like horizontal and you do actually poop in there and you do actually do everything on there. You just squat over it. And that's really the really old traditional toilets that that's what it is pretty much. Ugh. That is definitely some chocolate ice cream. I feel like they could have pushed it a step further and gone for the poo flavor. That's some nice, sweet, soft serve. What are you showing me, Jason? Mm -hmm. Why? Perfect way to end the day through touring all these amazingly weird restaurants. Next time you're in Taiwan, if you're looking for an amazing Instagrammable moment, check out one of these neat restaurants from this video. No thanks. Bye. Right. Check, please. Are we done yet? Before yeah. you go, I just We're want done. To Thank you, thank you, Jason, for showing me this and just destroying my whole appetite. The lesson here, guys, is that, you know what? Themed restaurants do work, but then it is super, super short-lived because at the end of the day, it is a fad, right? And, and what I was sharing with you guys is if you're spending all the time, money, energy into creating a restaurant already, why not create something that has longevity? Why not create something that you can sell in the future? Create something that is a golden goose that always lays eggs, not just a goose that lays one egg. We don't wanna do that. So if you're creating something, think about what would get your customers to come back again and again. And that's really the secret in creating a profitable restaurant. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I, I didn't, um, but I hope you find entertainment in watching me feel disgusted watching modern diarrhea. But nonetheless, let me know if this is something that you enjoy, seeing my reaction and watching these videos and, and telling you guys what my thoughts are and, and the, any lessons that I can grab from it. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button. 
Otherwise, subscribe along the whole journey. I'll see you guys in the next poop video.